Guys, are you all ready? I'm holding my head in front of the camera, so let's get it slowly off, okay? Oh, uh, and I have to mention, please be polite in the comment section, okay? Okay, okay, let's do this. No excuse anymore. Three, two, one. Hi! <laughs> it's been a long time since I've shown myself on the internet, and especially on YouTube. So let's dive into a little bit of real talk. Man, this is the first time on this YouTube channel. How am I going to do this? Holy shit. You know, it's crazy for me to show me on this image called Tanji because I was always a faceless leopard because for the longest time it didn't even know who I was or even if I deserved my own personality, you know? I never thought I would show myself in front of people and let my mask fall off. I did it on another YouTube channel and it was not the best idea. In fact, it was the worst idea which I ever had. So we are getting to the most sad chapter in life and I really prefer to not show myself in this, okay? So I hope you understand it. In seventh grade my spark in learning new things and practice them was completely gone. I was getting really distant to my own life and got to a point where life seemed like it's not worth to live at all. My power was gone to fight them off so I just let it happen and made a plan how I could end my life. So. I didn't have to suffer this bullying. I started cutting myself so that my pressure could finally release and I could feel emotions again. The next day when I got to school, I was really not pretending to be happy anymore, like I usually did. I let my mask fall off and shown the sadness inside me and didn't focus on anything at all. I couldn't anymore. I expected to get kicked off the stairs again, but on that day, the group didn't anything at all and just observed me. On a subject called math, I was grouped with one of them <laughs> and we sat outside the class on the table. I wasn't paying attention in math at all because I had so much fear just sitting next to this person. My vision got like a tunnel and just staring at the math problems, rubbing my head and shaking. I was so nervous that I forgot to cover up my scars and this person was silent. Completely silent. That's when I was so embarrassed that I had to run to the toilets and lock myself in for the rest of those two hours with a panic attack that my plan of killing myself was not going to happen anymore. My mind went crazy and I couldn't hold back my tears. I started to cry and yell at myself for my foolishness and not paying attention. When I got back in the classroom, everyone stopped to talk and it was completely silent. I knew this person told everyone. The teacher yelled at me and said, Why the hell were you the whole time? I was paralyzed as everyone stared at me and this one person full of mixed emotions. To the teacher I slowly said, nowhere. And I was going to my place back in class like nothing happened. The rest of the day nobody was looking at me and everyone turned away except for one person from another class. I got home, cried and laid in bed the whole day. Then I sent a suicide note out to the ballet group at 10pm. My parents were already asleep so nobody would notice or help me when I was going to end my life. It all was prepared and my head switched into an emotionally numb state. Just in this moment, this one person sent the text to me. Just in that moment, this one person sent the text to me, which was paying attention to me this one day. I picked up the phone and read the message. She asked why I was so sad today, because in break she didn't saw me at all. Right here I felt warm, the very first time, from someone I didn't know that good at all. So I thought this would be the easiest way to open up. I did open up and cried a lot, but I couldn't say who were the ones who bullied me. She said it will be okay in the future and comforted me. Thanks to your comforted words, I'm still here and strong friendship began to grow. I don't know what happened overnight, but the bullying was over now. This person said I should hear a little bit of music to calm down and to go to sleep. I heard the song Mercy from Shawn Mendes and this really helped me getting calm and sleepy. Every time I get in the bad mindset again, I just listen to Shawn's music and he always helps me. And if you're seeing this, Shawn, Thank you so much for music and helping me. This music helped me to grow my own personality and a healthy mindset again. And this time it worked. I slowly got my strength back over five years. Now that I think about it, this was the best time to grow personally, holy crap. I can trust other people again and like myself as I am. The only bad thing is now that I developed a panic attack. Every time when I see one of the old classmates, it rushes through my mind again, my hands are sweating, I get a tunnel wish and I can focus at all what they are saying. So as you will probably guess, there are still wounds, but I'm working with my therapist about that. If that didn't happen, I would never start my new main channel called Tanji. You know, first I was a little bit shy because this was a brand new start to the whole YouTube journey again. 
but over the time span of three years, our builds at Tanji I learned so much about YouTube and the community. Slowly my mask got cracks and could eventually fall off entirely on this channel now. I feel home here with my content and the community. I'm really thankful for my opportunity to be able to make someone stay better than mine, even if I hear this demon screaming from the furthest back of my mind. Don't be shy and let your mask fall off the same way I could. Thank you so much because this means the world to me. I hope you enjoyed this little journey so far, even if you just found out about my channel and watch this video now. Oh, and by the way, there are also now a few people on the screen and in the description which are very important for my journey so far. I can just say thank you from the deepest of my heart.